There are places in the universe where gravity dramatically distorts space-time. Most of space-time is nearly flat. It is only in black holes that it is strongly warped. Professor Stephen Hawking is renowned as a world expert on black holes. Back in the 1970s, his groundbreaking research brought much attention to the then theoretical black hole. The gravitational pull of a black hole stretches and warps space-time around it to an incredibly deep cone-shaped hole. When scientists analyzed X-ray images of supermassive black holes, they discovered that they were spinning at close to the speed of light. This causes the space-time fabric to be dragged around. Scientists call this frame dragging. Space-time becomes so distorted that it forms an almost complete circle. Confirmation that black holes rotate was music to the ears of anyone interested in time travel. The time traveler was just about to strike gold. Richard Gott is a professor of astrophysics here at Princeton University. He searched the universe to find anything that could warp space-time as much as a rotating black hole. What he found led him to make a bold and ambitious hypothesis, which is based on something that is still theoretical. It's called a cosmic string. Cosmic strings are thin threads of energy that are left over after the Big Bang. Despite being no wider than an atom, cosmic strings have colossal density. A string just one yard long would exert more gravity than the Earth. Immense gravity warps space-time. With his eye on time travel, that means one thing for Richard Gott. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. I found out that uh, because of the warping that the strings do in space-time, that if two strings, infinite strings, were passing each other at high speed like this, uh, you could use them to make a time machine. The fast-moving strings warp space-time as they pass, so that they bend it down into a wedge shape. Normally, a spaceship would have to take the longer route across space-time. But the time traveler can now take the shortcut. By outrunning a light beam, he can travel back in time. If this car were a huge spaceship, and Gott could find two cosmic strings, he could return before he departs. The space-time around the two moving cosmic strings is so twisted that Gott can circle the strings and come back before he sets off. Here's how. Cosmic strings bend space-time and provide a shortcut. By journeying around the strings, Gott travels faster than light does across normal space-time. You can't build a rocket that goes faster than the speed of light, but with curved space-time, you can take a shortcut and beat the light beam and theoretically make a time machine in principle. The path of time is no longer linear. Instead, it forms something like a circle. Richard Gott's time machine does, however, have a weak link. He discovered that at the very moment he warped space time enough to form a circle, the whole region would fall inside a black hole. And that's not good, <laughs> because a black hole, well, that's a hotel where you check in, but you don't check out. So it looks like the, the time travel region would be trapped inside a rotating black hole. Time travel theories may sound far-fetched. Yet for the last century, pioneers have pushed the boundaries, turning science fiction into reality. They have blended imagination with knowledge to prove once and for all that time travel will happen. 
we may have only journeyed a fraction of a second into the future. But the time travel pioneers continue undeterred, driven by the knowledge that every epic adventure begins with a single step.